Hey guys, I'm Dr. Jill Borio, and we're doing our first Borio Chiropractic Facebook Live. We do quite a few Facebook Lives on, uh, on our regular Jill Borio site, but, uh, but this is our first Facebook Live on Borio Chiropractic. So I'm really excited to have you guys join us as you guys come in, and, and obviously some of you guys may see this posted and you get a chance to watch it uh, later, so that's great. So. Um, so I want to give you just a quick, you know, real slow view of the office. So I'm standing here in the office and uh, I'm just going to kind of give you a quick little circle here of the office here. So, so this is an area where behind me where I review x-rays with new people of the office. It's a place where I, I often lecture about health issues and how to improve your life. And, you know, certainly not just how to get you out of pain, how to make you more comfortable, but Really, in the end, it's about having a better life, isn't it? So uh, I'm gonna walk you around here just real quick. So these are the tables where I care for people and, and adjust people. And then you've got our front counter over here and my staff's on lunch, so they're, they're having a good uh, break because we had a busy morning helping a lot of people. So, so I wanted to show you the office real quick just so you get a kind of a feel of what it is it looks like. For maybe uh, some people, you've never been to a chiropractor before, and for some people that's, you know, that unknowing sometimes makes you a little bit uh, uncertain or are unsure if that's maybe the right choice for you to come in. But I wanted to kind of, you know, break down a little bit of that feel and, and make you form, feel more comfortable here in our office. So I'm gonna walk you in our exam room real quick as well. And, uh, you know, we've got digital, we've got a digital computer system. So anytime we take x-rays of you here in the office, everything's digital. So it's really the highest technology that you can get. And here's our exam room. So for some people maybe that, have, that are watching and have already been here, this is familiar to you. But so this is our examination room where we'll do an exam. We'll certainly take a history of you if necessary. Uh, we'll take some x-rays. So, so just to kind of walk you through exactly what the office looks like and hopefully make you feel more comfortable if, uh, if our office is a place where you'd certainly like to get some of your healthcare needs met and get taken care of. So I thought today we'd spend a couple of minutes uh, on a call or on our Facebook with why your spine hurts and how it affects your overall health. There's a, I think it's one of those bits of information that a lot of times people know it, but we don't think about it. And as a result, you're not able, because you don't connect the dots even though you know it and you're not thinking about it all the time, you're not really relating how the spine affects your overall body or overall function or overall health, right? So uh, let me show you, I just put a slide up for you just to make it easy um, to go, for me to go over a little bit of information for you here. And uh, I'm by myself here, so just bear with me. So this is a, uh, this is a, a slide of some x-rays of what your spine is supposed to look like. So I think number one, most people, again, we know it, we don't think about it, right? Your spine is supposed to be straight from the front. So when I look down the front of you, whether it be on an x-ray, whether it be on posture, what have you, when I look at that x-ray, the, the x-ray should show that your spine is straight down the middle, right? And from the side, and that's a lower back, okay, from the front. And then the x-ray should show that you have a curvature in your lower back from the side. So in general, that's essentially what the lower spine should look like. In the neck, for example, the neck should be straight from the front, right? And it should have this beautiful arc or curve along the side. So that's clearly what a normal or healthy spine is supposed to look like. So, hey Irv, good to see you, man. Welcome. So this is a, uh, this is a neurologic chart. What I think a lot of us know but we don't often think about it, it's not something we often connect, is that what's inside our spine is critical to our body health, our body function. So if you look at this chart, for example, what you're gonna see is, you're gonna see this organ up here and it's our brain. And again, I know we know that our brain is there, it tells our body what to do, right? But the only way the brain can talk to the entire part of the body is through the nerves. And it, again, it's one of those things we forget about. The only way that the nerve or brain can communicate to the body through the nerve is all of the nerves have to go through the spine. So think about that for a minute and the ramifications of that, right? So again, I know we know it, but we don't often think about it. We don't often relate it. So think about your spine as a structure and how much abuse you put through it, right? I mean, so many of us are, 
you know, sitting in certain uh, positions or abnormal positions. Maybe you're over a computer. Maybe you're watching me on your cell phone right now, right? And you're leaning over over a, a phone and we call it text neck, right? Or you're sitting at a computer and you know, over time your posture starts to drop. Well, I, I think we've all fallen off our bicycle a few times. I think we've all tried roller skating or roller blading or, or um, you know, maybe just had a trip or a fall or something, uh, you know, in life, a normal uh, work activity. Sometimes it's just daily use. Like you don't, you don't need to hurt your tooth, if you will, in order for you to have a tooth problem. Sometimes it's just daily wear and tear over the period of years, and then the tooth can give you a problem, right? So the spine is exactly the same way. What happens is the spine is under a tremendous amount of strain or stress all the time. Again, think of like uh, maybe your car. Maybe that's a good example, right? Uh, and what happens is over a period of time, a period of miles, period of years, the spine or the car will start to pull itself out of alignment, right? So when we look at these x-rays, and that's one of the things we do with new people in the office, we want to look at, see inside you. We want to see where you're sick inside. Where is the spine not functioning properly? What you're going to see here is you're going to see the spine, and all of a sudden the spine's not so healthy. It's not so straight. All of a sudden the spine isn't working like it's supposed to, right? So what happens is, hey, Dr. Sam, good to see you, brother. So what happens is this. So let me go over something real quick with you. Here's a normal neck. Okay, so when we look at your neck, again, quick review. There's the head for some of you guys joining us late here, right? And it's over your shoulders. And you're going to see this beautiful arc, this beautiful curve. And you've got all these beautiful gaps, right? And you've got all these beautiful nerves, right? Critical nerves communicating to your body. And then again, one of those things we forget a lot about, right? You've got what? You've got the organ of your brain sending messages to what? All of your organs, right? Heart, lung, kidney, right? All that stuff. So if the spine's looking like this, it's not so crooked, right? There isn't a lot of pressure on the nerves, so the spine is healthier. So what, what that means is that these nerves that come out of these holes right here, so critical. Again, it's something we know we don't think about. So there's the nerve comes out of that hole, and if that hole is open, right? Everything's functioning pretty well. But what commonly happens is the spine's under stress all the time. Just like your teeth would always build a plaque, right? This spine's going to get crooked. It's going to get busted. It's going to get jammed up or jacked up or all those words you hear over the years of practice. And what happens is that hole starts to narrow, right? So just like, uh, for example, arteries would narrow, right? So I'm going to use an example here. We've got an artery and let's say everything's open and your arteries go into the heart and everything's working pretty good, right? But let's say over a period of time, things get clogged up, right? So oxygen and nutrients and all those critical molecules and nutrition, all of a sudden, all those things don't get to the heart or to your body as well. And the body's going to get what? The body's going to get sick. It's not going to function as well. You're not going to feel pain right away. Just like you don't feel, you don't feel pain necessarily if your artery just starts to plug, right? But when it gets really plugged, now it's crisis time. Now it's heart attack time or something like that, right? So the same is going to happen here. What happens is that spine gets crooked. Now in, in chiropractic, I'm a doctor that specializes in identifying where the spine's out of alignment. Now that word is called a subluxation. That's a subluxation. And that word's specific and unique to a chiropractor. Like uh, a dentist would use... Um, like gingivitis, right? Or uh, uh, talking about a heart doctor, a heart doctor may use uh, like cholesterol or arterial sclerosis or atherosclerosis, right? So chiropractors are looking for kind of the same thing, but not of the circulatory system. We're looking at it to see where, where is this hole narrowed. Now think about that. If that gets pressed on or that gets narrowed, what's gonna happen to what goes through there? Well, we know what happens to the heart, it blocks those, it blocks that circulation, those molecules, those nutrients, that oxygen that has to go to the body, right? But in here, what's it blocking? What goes through your nerves? Like, think about that. I mean, again, it's something we know, but we don't often relate it to our overall health, right? So your brain is sending what through your nerves to your hand to open and close your hand, right? Or to move your foot. Or if you touch your face or your neck or your arm, like how can you feel that? What's happening, right? There's messages. 
or signals or texts or emails, whatever you want to call it. And those messages or signals are going through the nerve and they're going to your body, right? And they're allowing your body to communicate better, right? So that's essentially what's happening all the time, whether we, whether we often are conscious or are aware of it or not, that's what's happening all the time. So when this gets subluxated, and it does with everybody, right? You know, like your teeth always build a plaque, so you always have to brush, right? Your spine is always gonna go out of alignment, always. It'll always get crooked. Everybody's spine gets crooked. So what happens is when it gets crooked, what it does, it starts to press on that nerve. Now all of a sudden, your brain right now, whether you realize it or not, and I can prove it to you, is going to your diaphragm and it's controlling how you breathe, right? Now let me prove to you how that works. If I'm breathing and exhaling, I'm controlling my diaphragm. Now I can stop breathing, I can breathe deeper, I can breathe slower. So your body's always doing that all the time, right? So see how important that is? So if this nerve is being pressed on, the body's ability to do that well, or as well as it needs to, it can't do it as well as it needs to. So what's going to happen to the body? It's going to lose what? You know, maybe you're thinking performance. That's true. Maybe it's going to lose some level of function. Maybe it's going to lose some level of health. Maybe it's going to start to get sick and diseased. So think about that. If that nerve goes to where, right? Your heart, your lung, your stomach, your bowel, your bladder, your prostate, your large intestine, what's going to happen to those organs? I mean, are they going to get healthier or sicker? Let me ask you something real quick and simple, right? If I push on a nerve from an area of your spine that's crooked, and if I block those messages, is the organ going to get healthier or sicker, right? It's going to get sick, which means you're going to get what? You're going to get sick, right? And sometimes we get sick in other areas and we don't even think about it with the spine, right? And here's another question. Why do we get pain? Like, again, it's something we know. What's your body trying to tell you? It's not necessarily trying to tell you it's time to take another Advil, right? And it's not telling you, hey, it's time for another muscle relaxer. It's not time for another Lyrica. It's not time for another hydrocodone, right? And I'm not saying never to take that. My point is this. It's telling you what? Something's wrong. So when we hurt in the spine, number one, you can be assured something is what? Remember that word I taught you? Sub, say it with me, subluxated. That, that vertebrae, that area of your spine now, has lost normal alignment. This thing is getting crooked. You are not straight in there anymore. That's number one. Number two, chances are it's been there a long time, right? And guarantee, not maybe, not possibly, you're now blocking life messages, signals that go through the spine, right? We touched on this, right? It goes through the spine to the organs, and now guess what? Those body parts aren't working as well as they're supposed to. You're not working as well as you're supposed to. And what happens is a lot of us, we get so used to feeling lousy, we don't even know what normal is, right? You get so used to feeling the way you feel, you think, hey, that's the way I'm supposed to feel all the time, and you don't even relate it to where you're feeling sick or diseased or your body's not working as well as it's supposed to. And that's the biggest concern. That's really the biggest tragedy. So why would your spine hurt and why would it affect your overall health? That's today's topic, right? Well, why would it hurt? You guys know that now. I mean, if your spine's hurting, let me ask you this. Is it in good alignment or is it in bad alignment? Now, maybe it just started yesterday, but the reality is this. Did it, is it in good alignment or is it in bad alignment? And I think most of us are, uh, hopefully you're at home saying the same thing that I'm thinking. It's out of alignment, right? Number two, chances are how long has it been that bad, right? A while, like by the time you feel heart disease or kidney disease or digestive disease, the chances are the problem's been there for a really long time, right? So we're out of alignment, it's been there a long time, and what's it doing to my body? Is it making me healthy or sick? And hopefully you're, you're, you're going right where, the, where my head's going, it's making you sick, right? So what's it doing to the quality of your life? What's it doing to the length of your life if I'm corrected? right? So chiropractors are like the dentist of the spine, right? We're looking at the spine and we're saying, hey, where is the spine crooked? Where are messages being blocked? Where is life not able to flow through the spine? Where are your emails or texts or whatever you want to call what's going through that nerve? Where is that information not getting where it needs to go? And how is it affecting the overall health of the body? Where is it making you sick? Okay, so real quick, let me show you a couple x-rays here. So here's a normal x-ray, like we touched on earlier. Look at what's happening to this guy. 
right? Look at the, the alignment where it's off. Look how he's leaning forward. Do you guys see that, right? Look at the gaps between the vertebrae. Can you guys see that, right? So what's happening to him? Is he getting healthier or sicker? Now listen, some of you might be thinking, well, you know, he's putting a young guy and an old guy up there. I'm not. I'm literally putting two people that came into my office and that are still here. One of them, Peter, is somebody who's 40 years of age, and the other guy is 40 years. So both of those guys are 40, right? So what's going on with this guy? How misaligned? How subluxated is he? You know, if you look at the, uh, let's say, a car, for example, and you see that, wow, the, the tires are wearing out and the bearings are wearing out and the car's really not working well, you know, you're not really concerned about the age of the car. You're looking at that car saying, wow, that thing needs to be taken care of, right? If you looked at somebody's teeth, for example, and you said, wow, their teeth are really rotten out. I mean, that can happen to a young person. That can happen to what we consider, you know, older and elderly person, right? But it's got really nothing to do with the time. It's got to do with how what? How well your teeth were taken care of, or if you will, not taken care of, right? So in both of those situations, you're seeing somebody who took care of their spine, and as a result, later in life, age 40, they still have a healthy spine, and then you're looking at somebody who never took care of their spine, never brushed or flossed their teeth, and look at what it does to them. So what I want you to grab here in my final moments, think about how that's affecting his health. Now one, is he gonna have neck pain? I'm sure that he does. In fact, I know that he does because he's a, he's a practice member in our office. I have the honor to take care of him, okay? That's number one. So guaranteed he's got neck pain. What else? So some of us stop at orthopedic thinking, right? We're thinking, yeah, he's got neck pain. But what, let me ask you this. Would it make sense that his heart goes into what they call an atrial fib, meaning the heart doesn't work as well as it's supposed to, right? Think about how well or lack of health that his lungs are experiencing right now are functioning, right? Think about what's happening to his digestion, what's happening to his, his stomach, his duodenum, right? Think about what might happen to uh, his esophagus causing like maybe like a reflux, right? Why would that happen? What's happening to the nerves, right? Where do the nerves go? What's not going through the nerves that's supposed to go through the nerves? What's happening to his overall health? So what happens to all, many of us, right, is we do what? We start, we start visiting different docs, right? We go to a gastroenterologist, and then we're going to a proctologist, right? Or we're going to an orthopedic doc. We're going to a neurologist, right? And we're starting to see all these docs, and they're good people, and they're trying to help us. And the next thing you know, each of them are giving me another pill. So the next thing you know, I'm on one pill, two pills, three pills, five pills a day just to get through the day, when in reality, when in reality, the reason I'm sick, the reason I'm diseased, the reason my body's not working as well is why? Why isn't my body working as well as it's supposed to? Because the life, the messages, the signals can't get there, right? They're not getting through where they're supposed to go. So, so that's why your spinal hurt and that's how it affects your overall uh, health of your life. Thank you, Christy, I appreciate that, hello. Thank you for your kind words. So our job in our office, what we do is we do a checkup. Now, some people have never been to a chiropractor before. To me, and again, Everybody doesn't know what we know, right? I think if you did, you would do what I do, right? But you don't know that. So, so let me ask you this. If you never went to a dentist ever and you never brushed your teeth and you never brought your kids in to brush your teeth and you never evaluated or took care of the health of your teeth, what's going to happen to them? They're going to get sick, diseased, right? So the same idea. Much of us come in never knowing or taking care of our spine, which is just like your teeth, and what's going to happen? It's going to start to get sick and it's going to get diseased. It's going to break down. So one of the things that's really important that we do is we're going to need to do some uh, examination and we need to get some history on you and we're going to need to take some x-rays of you. Now, if you're under the age of 10, your children under the age of 10, we typically don't take x-rays. But if you're over the age of 10, we'll typically take pictures of you. That's the only way we can look inside you to see where you're sick inside, where the spine is damaged, where it's out of alignment, where there's degenerative changes, how it's affecting your overall health, okay? So that's where we're going to start. Now, we do that for your entire family. Um, what we do in our office is we do a $37 checkup for your family. And I'm going to tell you why. It's significantly less than what our cost is or certainly for the value of that. I do that for this reason and this reason alone. Most people don't know what it is I do or they're nervous that they don't wanna spend money for something they don't know if it's gonna give them value. So I wanted to lower the fee enough 
to where it's at least covering some of our expenses, but at the same time allows you to come in and get an evaluation to see what's happening without having finances be a barrier for you. I don't want you to not come in because money is, a, is the only concern for you. So that's why we do that fee for families. And that allows you, uh, your, your was a husband or your wife, your children, they get a chance to come in and everybody gets a chance to get checked out. Let's see where you're at. And then what we'll do is we'll design, you and I will have that discussion and we'll have an agreement, right? Hey, here's what's going on inside. This is how long it's been there. Right? This is how much care it's going to take to get well, if that's our goal, right? to get better. And then once I get you well, what's my job? You know, my job is to, is to keep you well. right? So let's have that conversation. Once we know what's going on inside you, let's have that conversation to see, hey, what do we need to do for you and your children? What do we need to do to keep you well? But if you don't come in, you know, for whatever reason, right, then I can't have that opportunity to check you. And then what happens in my office, again, I've been doing this almost 30 years, believe it or not. And what happens is I see people coming in, you know, in the age of late 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s or older. You know, we had a couple of people that came in 80. I mean, think about never brushing your teeth for 60 years or even 30 years. What do you expect to see inside? I mean, there's a lot of damage. So that's why we insist on children coming in at least getting checked. Let's see where their spine is damaged. Let's see where there's, there's problems. Because much of what we see in adulthood started when you were a child, right? So let's start there and see what's going on. And as an adult, uh, obviously there's going to be some more damage. Or let's see how bad it is. Let's measure how bad it is. And let's determine what we need to do in order to get you well. Let's, let's figure that out. Let's figure out what we need to do to get you well. And that's the best way to move forward in our office. When you, when you get care, think about this. You know, in my closing moments here. Think about being healthier. Think about feeling better than you feel right now. Think about being stronger. Think about having a greater degree of flexibility. Think about sleeping better, better digestion. Think about those aspects of your health and think about how that would benefit you. You know, the other way to think about it is think about being sicker. Some people think, well, geez, you know, it is what it is and this is where I'm at. I, maybe this year it is, maybe this month it is. Think about where you're gonna be in a month or three months or six months or six years and how much quality you're gonna lose. Not just in how you feel, but you know, maybe it's going to the kids game. Maybe you like to fish, maybe you like to golf, maybe you like to do things around the house. Maybe just sitting there enjoying yourself you know, around the table with your family. You know, all of a sudden that starts to become a problem. That starts to become a challenge. You know, much of that is, is, is something that could be totally eliminated. And more than that, you can live a much better life, a quality life than, you, than you're living right now. And I've seen that over the years. You know, your children less likely to get sick, the utilization of medication and surgeries, all of that starts, stuff starts to drop because you're taking better care of yourself. And as a result, you have a, you have a longer, better, healthier life. And that's what our practice is about. You know, my, you know as a doctor in, in my field, in, in our office, and my team here, we're not an office that's here to treat you. We're an office that's here to take care of people. And by taking care of people, and everybody needs to be taken care of, don't they? And don't you deserve that, right? By being taken care of, you're always going to live a longer, better, better quality life. And that's certainly what my life is about, and that's what I'm here for today. So hopefully you found some value in this. All you got to do is there's a link right above, I think it's right above, above me electronically here. And there's our phone number. You can reach out to us, or right on our website, you can, you can reach out to make uh, your first time in the office. And anybody new, if finances are a concern for you, don't, don't worry about finances. Your, your first evaluation is $37. And, uh, and that includes your family. And you know, come in, at least start there, start with an evaluation, let's see where you're at. And then after that, let's sit down and have a conversation. Now we know what's going on inside. Hey, what do you need? What's in your best interest? What's something that can work in your budget? What's something that can work in your family? Because I know this, something's always better than nothing. So if you're somebody who's sitting there saying, geez, it's a really challenge and I've never gone because I'm worried about money or finances, I'll tell you this, the people that I see, if they're in that situation, and, and not everybody is, but if you are, certainly some care will always get you in a better place than you are now. I'd hate to see you wait a year or two thinking that, hey, now things are better and have you go two years getting sicker. You know, it's sad that we see utilization of medications, surgeries are on the rise, you know, medical errors, as great as medicine is and as much, you know, they go to work every day trying to do a great job like everybody, but you know, that's doubled in the last 20 years. 
I mean, it's 500,000 medical errors and deaths and 300,000 due to drugs. So, so again, does that mean it should never be utilized? No, but it shouldn't be utilized as the means in which to get healthy or stay healthy, right? In our office, what we do is we do what's necessary in order to get your body to function better so you live a longer, healthier life. And if that's something that you're looking to do and you'd like to benefit for you and your family, give us a call, reach out to us on the website. Uh, you can reach out on Boreal Chiropractic. I always run a, a special for people to come in and make it easy for them. Just click on that, on the download the form. All our paperwork's right on the website. So you can download it, fill it out. You'll be in and out of here your first day probably shoot uh, 25 minutes, maybe 35 minutes, and we'll get a lot of information. We'll meet with you the next time, maybe 10, 15 minutes. We'll tell you what's going on. And then we, with your permission, you know, we'll make that decision about what's in your best interest in order to move forward. And it's always an honor. I know 30 years here, it's, it's always an honor when uh, people trust us with their health. It means a lot to me. It's not something I've, I've uh, lost. It's, it's actually something that I, I realize even at a deeper level now after being in care for so many years and, and seeing the benefits of, of people being under care. So, so give us a call if it's something that you are ready to make that move on. You know, one thing I've learned is information isn't what's gonna change your life, it's taking action. So if you're considering it right now, don't talk yourself out of it, click that link above us, give our, give our office a phone call, we'll get you in, we'll get you scheduled here in the next couple of days, get you evaluated and let's see the quality of your life because that's what our office is about, it's giving you a better quality of life. Appreciate you guys tuning in for me today. I'll talk to you next week. We're going to be doing some different topics every week here in the office directly. I'm, uh, I'm going to have my staff helping us out a little bit as well. That'll be a lot of fun. And uh, I'll give you a couple more tours of the office. Until I see you in my office, guys, or until I talk to you next week, have the healthiest day possible. Talk to you soon.